Hey everybody, Nomadic Matt here, and this week we're going to talk about how to make friends when you travel abroad. A lot of people have this romantic notion about travel. They're going to go overseas, uh, they're going to end up in some cafe, strike up a conversation with some local, and before they know it, being taken around by some beautiful stranger. However, the reality is a lot more complicated than that. Well, locals are happy to give you directions, help you out, or maybe share a drink with you. There's a difference between them doing that and them inviting you into their own private space. But all is not lost. Over the years, I found six really effective ways to meet locals and other travelers when you're overseas. And this is especially important when you're a solo traveler and you're by yourself, and you're thinking, I don't really want to spend the next year alone. How do I meet people? First, use the website Couchsurfing. Couchsurfing is a website that connects locals and travelers so travelers can have a free place to stay. Normally, you can stay with the locals and get free accommodation. And that's great for the traveler because they get to save a lot of money and they get to meet a local and get a local perspective on everything. But not everybody is comfortable staying with strangers. So you can go on Couchsurfing and create a profile, but use the group community aspect of it. I use the website to connect with a local in Kiev who brought me to a cool college party, a local in Munich who brought me to a German rock show, and in Oxford, England, just to be taken around the city. And I didn't stay with either of these three people. I just used Couchsurfing to meet a local and have someone to hang out with. The second tip is using the website meetup.com. This website allows you to meet up with people in your local community over a shared interest. Like knitting, you're gonna find other people who are on that site who like knitting. Finding new wine bars, talking about travel, practicing your French. Whatever you're into, you can find people with similar interests on meetup.com. While the website is really big in the United States, it's also become increasingly popular worldwide. And you know, if you're in a new city, you're looking for people to hang out with, go on the website and find people with shared interests. Also, it's a sort of a duh. They're filled with other travelers, many of them who are traveling alone, and they're all looking to make new friends. So if you can't make a friend in a hostel, you might be a loser. No, but, but seriously, all joking aside, I love staying in hostels for the communal environment. You have shared kitchens, shared common rooms, most organized events, and sometimes it can be a little intimidating trying to you know, say hi to a random stranger. So hostels try to facilitate that and make that easier. And even if staying in a dorm room isn't your cup of tea, hostels have private rooms, so don't worry that you're gonna have to get stuck in a dorm, just rent one of the private rooms. Another great option is the website Viable. Viable.com allows locals to run small, specialized tours. So you can hire a local to take you to their favorite Mexican restaurants, sushi bars, pubs, or just favorite sites in the city. It's really cool, it's really fun, it's a good way to sort of get a unique perspective on someone's slice of life in a foreign city. And you know, after the tour is over, you can usually go out for a few drinks with them. They can tell you where to go, what to see, where to eat. It's a really cool and different thing to do. Next, pub crawls. Pub crawls are exactly what you think they would be. Get a bunch of strangers together in a foreign city, take them from bar to bar, and ply them with alcohol. Of course, that's going to be a great time. Everyone's going to be friendly, happy, excited. Really, what could go wrong? You'll find pub crawls in pretty much every city around Europe, as well as some of the bigger cities around the world. Uh, hostels usually have information about them, or you can just go on google.com and type in pub crawl, whatever city you're in. Don't forget to drink responsibly, but beer goggles always make the night interesting. Lastly, take a free walking tour. Free city walking tours are good for getting your bearings, learning about this destination you just happened to land in, and making new friends. Most people who take free city walking tours do so their first or second day in a new city. So they're new, you're new, they need friends, you want to make a friend, be friends together. You can find these free city walking tours you know, hostels have them listed, hotels know about them, all the tourism offices in the city. 
And you can also go online and just search, you know, free walking tour, whatever city I'm in. So those are my six tips for meeting people abroad and making new friends. What do you do? How do you meet travelers? I'd love to know. I'm sure everyone else would like to know too. So share your tips. And until next time, travel cheaper, better, and longer with the great new friends you've met traveling. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post new travel videos every Wednesday, usually.